as a conservative country and peaceful country and uh, now in that country still people uh, don't know much about the LGBT issues and then now coming out in the TV telling about our stories uh, is like now these stories should change uh, the people's uh, behavior and perspectives to us so in a way um, when I come out in TV and tell my stories I think I feel that um, the generation younger generations and the generation who have passed uh, ahead or who are of our time they are um, kind of getting um, inspired but uh, this was to mainly indicate that our homose uh, homosexual community do exist in our beautiful Himalayan country where we measure happiness more than the gross domestic product so that's really a blessing to me and uh, really a good moment to um, tell them that um, we do exist and then that was a silence breaking moment for the Bhutanese LGBT that's what I feel at the moment uh, just to come out in the national television now this is not easy because I have lived in the closet for many years and then I have my pains I, I do have the deep pain that scars that I have suffered in the closet uh, living with uh, my uh, life as a LGBT um, in the closet so in this uh, case now uh, what thing mostly uh, makes me to come out is uh, like looking at the stories of rest of the closet friends who are suffering um, without information without uh, the proper uh, care and support from their family um, in a way that there is no specific thing uh, that triggers me to inspires me to come out but then this uh, studying at the situation and looking at my own life in the past it always pushed me forward to move and tell that it is there and then at least share to the people and when shared at least they will hear about us and then they will talk and then find a solution and we can also find our own solutions for the problems that's what I feel at the moment there are a lot of positive changes in the society level and in the families and uh, even in the uh, higher government uh, organization level for example um, when first when I came out there were no much uh, proper health services uh, and trainings for the doctors uh, how to take care and support the LGBT community now um, Ministry of Health of Bhutan have trained around 150 doctors and 80 religious leaders to um, properly take care and give the services to the LGBT community so that is big change in the uh, governmental level when I see in the organizational level and then in our own uh, LGBT community after my coming out now we have formed an informal network and in the informal network we have around 20 members who are working together uh, as a, although we are all volunteers from all parts of the country in Bhutan so we still have the uh, inspiring stories coming out uh, along with my story so what is happening is now a lot of uh, friends have uh, started coming out and now working together so a lot of changes uh, has been taken place and is going to take place in future